Welcome back to Pokemon 3D! My name is Spade and today we are going to take a look at the patch 0.23 and we are currently here at the um, Golden Rock City which actually wasn't implemented I was, I was trying to get in but uh, it wouldn't work and it said on the list that it was going to be implemented but then after this patch came out it actually wasn't but I thought there was something going on so I actually hacked myself in here so the place does exist but uh, there isn't really much of anything going on here but I figured I could still you know look around here since the place does kind of exist although not really so yeah just hack myself in here and uh, yeah it doesn't even have the original music here and this is probably a dead end the end of the world the edge of the world and okay, I had to repel on. But, uh, yeah, um, today I guess we are just going to, after looking around here, we are going to, going back to the previous route, because I do believe the daycare, there are some folks over there at the previous route, so we can take a look at that. But, uh, the daycare is apparently implemented, but, uh, I don't think there's, yeah, like I said, I just hacked myself in here, so there isn't really much going on. Can I even... Ooh, that probably wasn't a good idea. That probably wasn't a good idea. Now was it? Um... Okay, okay. And what one problem is also that uh, now there is an auto-saving system. So if I do this, yes, and then go back. But also, I guess I can check this out while we are at it, but uh, now you can change your languages and in the future there will be language packs, uh, more language packs implemented to the game and I guess, you know, fans can uh, make their own packs and then can have them approved by uh, Nils, I, I guess, although he probably doesn't have any idea of some random languages that he doesn't know of, like let's say Finnish, I could make all sorts of bullshits and give him a language pack. So I don't know how that would actually work out. But uh, that's something that that's gonna be working in the future. I guess some of his friends will, you know, can do that. But now if I load the game, no, it actually, huh. Because there should be like an auto-saving system when you exit the game. But that actually worked out nicely. So if I exit now, and, oh wait, if I just press continue, Yes, that's how it works, yes. Alright, alright. Well, a good thing that I did load the save, because if I would have pressed continue, I would have uh, gotten me back to that uh, glitchy place where I would not have been able to get out of. So that would have sucked, but here's the radio tower, so at least we can take a look at that. Oh, look at that, good old radio tower, but... And there's my, there goes my repel again. Must try this out again. Yeah, it probably wasn't a good idea now, was it? Yeah, it just keep, keeps on uh, glitching you in. So let's not try any uh, random buildings and just... Uh, let's head over to the uh, previous route here. And check out the day characters. That should be... That should be there and then there should be some uh, trainer battles most likely. But if I remember correctly, this guy never battles you unless it's night. And thank you, Mr. Repel. And that's the uh, super awesome Pokemart store. And now we cannot go back there, can we? Yep, no we cannot. It just doesn't let you. Because the place isn't fully implemented. Oh, look at that, I didn't even see you there. Mr. Picnicker, I'm confident in my ability to race Pokemon. Want to see? Not really. Camp and Todd. And we still got these uh, awesome trainer bell intro animation thingies. Let's go battle free. One Pokemon. The Psyduck, level 17. Oh yeah, I got this difficulty thingy here. So that's probably gonna um, mean that battle free is gonna go down, unfortunately. It yeah. can still live one hit. Come on, battle free, do something. Oh man, no match for this mighty Psyduck. Um, who do I have here? Flaffy will do just fine. Let's hope that I can one shot it with a thunder shock. Camo. And yes, there we go. Alright. These Pokemon are pretty high level here, so I'd probably have something like Flaffy up front. Yes, you didn't do good enough of a job. 
I guess we could check out the wild Pokemon in here momentarily. Although I have Charmeleon, so it's it's cool, it's cool. Hello? Yup, I see nothing wrong today. You'll be good and stay out of trouble. Yes, I will. This place should be in. Although I'm not really sure how it works. But what's going on in here? Nothing? But can I leave some of my Pokemon? Let's say I will leave my Butterfree because it wasn't doing too well. Uh, deposits? Um, no. I. How does. Oh. Can I now move in here? And then press A? Yes. Alright. Alright. Awesome. Now my Butterfree is there, right? Is there, right? Right. And if I take a few steps here, does it tell me anything? No, it doesn't. There's nothing except when you actually get a level. So we'll leave Butterfree there for now. And uh, then we move on. There's a bunch more trainers in here. Oh, look at that. Hello there, random youngster and a wild Pokemon. What is this? A wild drowsy? Oh dear, what level? 12? Yeah. Okay, uh, apparently there are drowsies like in the original games in here. That is nice. Are you a trainer? Let's have a practice battle. There is no practice in Pokemon. This is serious business. So what do you got? Nidorans or... Oh, Hoppips. Well, this works out. Kill it with fire! And then... What else do you have? More grass types? Hopefully. Hoppip? Yes, we'll, we'll stay in. Alright. After this I'll have to take a look at the list of things that is now implemented and then I'll check that out and go from there. But uh, Golden Rod City will hopefully be in like next time, but uh, naturally there's a lot of stuff to be put there because it's a huge ass city with a bunch of NPCs and some storyline shenanigans, although there's most of the storyline is like after after you return there, like later, you know, the radio tower shenanigans and all. But that was that. That's a Pokemon fan who could have some interesting Pokemans, and let's see what other wild Pokemon can be running into here. Oh, it's a good old Rattata. What a surprise. What a surprise. Uh, uh, seriously, I should put a repel, but... Oh, it's an Abra. Well, that's interesting. If it doesn't die, I'll capture it. And if teleport isn't implemented fully. But it is. God damn it! Arceus damn it, I mean. Ah. Oh. I remember in Poke MMO, I captured an Abra because uh, teleport wasn't implemented, so it just didn't do anything, so it was really easy to capture an Abra. And now I'm kind of using it on Poke MMO to, uh, to kind of destroy it. Chase's dreams. But, uh, yeah. That's uh, another story for another time in Poke MMO, but, you know. Just thought to, uh, mention that real quick. But, Snubble, that did nothing. That's, that's awesome. What else do you have? Another Snubble? Oh, it's a Marie. We'll stay in. We'll burn it too. Will the wool catch on fire? Should be super effective, but it isn't. Oh no, Thunder Wave! My worst nightmare. And... Yeah. Alright, we survived. Can I get a level up out of this? Yes! Alright, this level up window seems to be different, so that's awesome. Got a boost of 9. Like, all together, I guess. Yes. I'm good at math. My plus 2, my last 1, blah blah blah. Okay. Pretty, pretty standard sad races. But well, the window is a bit different, so that doesn't that is pretty cool. Why does it always end like this? Not always, but still. Anyways, now I'm gonna take a quick look at the list what we got here. Resizable window, okay. Language selection, we check that. Content content packs. Which uh, I read, read about it real quick, and it's apparently kind of like texture packs, and then you can make your own content uh, content packs and then put them into the game. But I'm not really sure how that works. Not really sure if I'm gonna look into that. 
sometime maybe, because hacking this game is actually kind of interesting. That's how I got into Golden Rod City. But that's, then again, a kind of different kind of hacking, changing texture packs and stuff. But you can do that if you want now. So, uh, row 34, that, it's this route, right? Right. So, daycare system, we check that. New moves, recoil moves, transform and other. Okay, well transform would be kind of cool to see. Do they have details on this road? Not really sure. I think they do. Or is it just the road up ahead? Well, which doesn't exist yet. So yeah, gate map between Elect Forest and uh, Row 34. That's the one over there. Do I even have my mouse on? I'm not really even sure. Does traps keep keep the mouse on? Do I have it checked? Not really sure, but you can see the on the left, there's the uh, gateway. And then there's the auto saving system and map is redone and changed uh, trainer AI. At least the Marip was uh, pretty badass, going for T-Wave and then the stab move at Thundershock. Although, I guess there's some, uh, but that those are basically the changes on this patch. So I guess we'll just, uh, wait. Let me check my, uh, I think there's some changes in the back, because I think at least the Pokeballs are in different bags, yes. The last time they were in the same bag as uh, the uh, Repel was. So it's Repel now on a Misk. No, it's a standard bag. But I think it was like a Misk stuff or something like that. And also, uh, I do believe... TMs are now reusable on difficulty 0, but on 1 and 2 they can only be used once. So if I want to teach headbutts, then I could go to menu and then ch change my setting to 0 and... Uh, hello there sir, are you going to battle? Yes. But I could just go into menu and then change the difficulty to 0 to actually have the TM for later. I got the uh, headbutt TM from... One of the guys from the Elex Forest, so uh, I could potentially teach us to a bunch of my Pokemon because none of them actually have any good moves. And you have four Pokemon, but all of them suck, so is that really a good thing in the end? And we'll stay in. And hopefully not get fully paralyzed. Oh no, it's pecking me. Yes, so far so good. So far so good. And what else do you got? Another Spearow. And it's a level 10, okay. Alright, Fury Attack, two times, and yes, Charmeleon doing work, even though paralyzed. Alright, one more to go, Charmeleon. You totally got this. Sandshrew doesn't even have any kind of ground type moves. Maybe Mud Slap, although it most likely doesn't have a Swift. Critical hit. Yeah, we got this. Yes, there we go. Charmeleon doing work as usual. But I think that's gonna be right about it for this episode since, uh, you know, Golden Rod City, there's nothing there since it isn't fully implemented. But, you know, the radio tower is still pretty cool looking over there in the, in the uh, horizon, so that's awesome. But, yeah, there's the gates. Wasn't there usually the chick who talks about uh, Celebi? Also, do I have, uh, yes, I, I brought Ghastly, but I'm not really sure if I'm gonna, gonna be training it, but Ghastly is cool. Good day, sir. It snows outside, that means the entire ground is covered in snow. Really? Go out and enjoy this beautiful appearance. I will, I will. But I think there was a, like, a chick who talks about Celebi, like a Pokemon who uh, travels across the time and stuff. But yeah, we are back here on Nilex Forest, and as usual, there's a bunch of wild Pokemon, but... Let's see what we get. Oh, it's a Kakuna! Kakuna Rexana! Can I run from this? Oh wait, what attacks do I have? Gnosis, or Hypnomis, and Lick, and stuff. There we go. But you can see that guy over there, just barely. That's the guy who gives you headbutt here in the Elex Forest, so, uh... There is that. But... I think other than that... We are pretty much... Can I? Yes, thank you. I can go back here. And I'll take a one last look at the radio tower. It is so majestic. But, yeah, this is gonna be all for uh, this episode, since we basically went through all the new stuff. Uh, 
that's in this uh, current patch. And I guess next time when we come back, hopefully uh, Golden Rods will be fully implemented. But, you know, let's just leave the uh, Creator Neil some time because, you know, there's a lot of stuff to be done in the Golden Rod City. So it's not really surprising that he wasn't able to uh, put it in quite yet. But I think the next patch is coming out like... Uh, uh, February 12th, I think, so a bit over a week, but yeah, like I said, again, and as you can understand, probably a lot of stuff to be added in the Golden Road, if that's gonna be in, in the next future patch that is coming out, so a bit over a week should be, uh, and then we should be good to go with the uh, next patch, hopefully, if nothing else comes up, but uh, yeah. February 12th should be the date when the next patch comes out. So I will most likely check you guys then. So thank you so much for watching. And until next time, this is the Flaming Spade, signing out. Peace.